Welcome back to Andy's Fish Office. Today we're going to be replacing this conglomerate of stuff behind me with a new cabinet. Of course, we can't just have a in-stock built cabinet. No, we need to build our own because we need to support four fish tanks and a television on that cabinet. So here's all the lumber that we just recently purchased just to get this started. This and some screws cost a little bit more than you would probably spend on a standard cabinet, but we're going to get what we want. Okay, now we've cut all the wood for the base frame. So it's time to pre-drill and get this frame put together. A couple of quick tips about pre-drilling this. So first I pre-drilled the plate. Um, I marked it at three quarters of an inch because two by fours are actually only one and a half inches wide. Uh, so that's the halfway mark. <clears throat> I pre-drilled the plate first. Then once I had it in here, I went through the same hole and pre-drilled into the uh, cross stud here. Uh, then after that, I screwed in my first two and a half inch, 10 by two and a half inch decking screw. You notice that these are a star head, which I like so much better than the Phillips head drive, uh, Phillips screwdriver heads. They just work so much better. Just got it started so that it doesn't twist this board when I screw in the next one. And we're going to screw in the next one and then we're off to the races. Okay, there we have the base done. I am gonna lift this up uh, about two inches with some pieces. So the next thing to do is to build uh, 10 more two inch lifts. Okay, so I drilled these uh, two inch risers and I offset, I pre-drilled and offset the screws on these. And I did that so that no matter where you drill or where you screw, see how this one's tall and this one's short, the screws will never, uh, Cross. That way you're going to be set to screw in all those risers wherever you want. Okay, so the next thing I did was build eight of these 25 inch long pieces. These are going to go on the corners. There's going to be two on each corner. These are arguably the most important piece of this build because they're going to be holding the entire weight of the top shelf and whatever we put on top of the top shelf. All right, so now in addition to the eight braces on the side, I have all four of my braces here that I'm gonna use for my, uh, my guide rails, and then we'll be, we'll be good to go. So it's time to start putting the size on this sucker. Okay, so now we have the side uh, guides built. They're 35 and three quarters inches tall. I have the uh, two inch riser plates attached. You can see how I did these on uh, on the corners. So those are like that. But since this is the front, uh, we really wanted them to be flush this way. I'm gonna basically do the same thing with my 25 inch pieces, which that's what I'm gonna put in now and screw all of this together. Doesn't look super great because the uh, driveway here is not level, but I'll make sure everything is square as I put it together. Clamps are your friend. Okay, so now you can see our progress. We've got all the, the corner risers. All eight of these are done. We have side and forward, which is uh, make, gonna make this really strong. We also have those bottom pieces, like I said, and I did add center pieces here uh, just so that this center doesn't sag in the middle, both front and the back. And notice they don't go all the way to the top because that doesn't really matter. So, uh, here we go. Now it's time to make the top. All right, so there's the top, but we still have to build some braces and we're gonna do those kind of a special way. So we're gonna build those and then talk about how that works. We built four of these. These are the cross braces, just like I talked about before. We put in holes, put in four holes, starting at six inches and then every three inches. So that these will sit here on the top this way and it'll only go four inches down, and that way we can mount lights up and use zip ties to zip them in. All right, frame is done. And I think it's starting to look pretty good. We got all those braces on the top. We have the braces on the bottom, the feet, everything in the corners look good. It's all square. So now it's time for plywood. Plywood's cut, now it's time to screw it down. We're gonna make sure we screw from one side to the other to eliminate bows in the middle. Okay, we hit it with, with the uh, sander after we screwed it down. Now she's ready to paint. All right, there she is painted. 
So it's still wet, but it's got to dry. Once it dries, we will take it in and set it up. James sighting. James, say hello. He's being shy. He's being shy. All right, guys, here's the finished product. That's the uh, new tank stand in place with the TV and my 15 gallon, gallon tank on there. Um, I will be doing a video on that tank here in the near future. I still need to um, get my power cords up and off the ground above the outlet, but and hooked to the back of the stand. I will do that um, in the future. And then I have two tanks going in down there. So we'll do videos on those as well. Plan to do a shrimp tank and a, uh, a, a tank so that my quarantine fish from my previous tank that I took, took down can get out of this little measly 10 gallon that they're in. So there you go, finished product, worked out great. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me build it and have a good time. If you've enjoyed Andy's Fish Office, please like and subscribe.